A Plaquemines Parish deputy appears to claim one man could be in two places at once, both at the scene of a crash and watching the Super Bowl. As we uncover in our new investigation, despite what appears to be clear video evidence in the case, the legal battle has dragged on for more than a year. A frequently sanctioned sheriff's deputy swore in an affidavit the person you see in this video is the same person you see here. It just so happens these images were taken at the exact same time of day, nearly 23 miles apart. I believe it was done maliciously. That deputy told a judge the picture you see now is high quality video surveillance. Those claims help lead to Jared Folks being arrested, locked up in this cell for nearly 72 straight hours. No shower, no sunlight, little food. I was on concrete for three days, didn't get to brush my teeth. This story starts on Super Bowl Sunday 2022. As the Bengals and Rams began the second quarter, Folks had workers for his construction company finishing up a job in Plaquemines Parish, installing spray foam insulation. And was this an actual employee of yours or a sub? A subcontractor of mine. So it didn't even work for your company? That's correct. The worker's truck got stuck between the gates of the Park Plaquemines subdivision. As he goes through the gate, the gate swings inward and lodges in between the cab and the, and the flatbed. Folk says he contacted the general contractor. I said, the gate has malfunctioned. Um, do you have contact information for the homeowners association? That way we can reach out to him. And he, he said, I have a, I'm at a Super Bowl party. I have an email I can send it to you in, in the morning. He said, you know, basically free the truck and we'll contact the you know, homeowners association and, and get the repairs done to the truck. Folks says he emailed the homeowners association, but shortly after heard from a Plaquemines Parish Sheriff's deputy, Vincenzo Sonato. I got a call. Um, it was from a cell phone number and I explained to him what happened. I explained to him I was watching the Super Bowl at home and I explained the steps. I explained that I got the text message. I immediately contacted, um, you know, the general contractor on the job. And uh, I asked, I requested the HOA inform, you know, information. Folks says the deputy asked him to send him text messages. We got off the phone the first call and I reached out to my attorney. He said, you know, he said, no, we're not going to, we're not going to send them, you know, private text messages on this. You know, you're the victim. Your company's truck is, you know, is the victim. So um, at that point, he called back the following day and he was pretty aggressive and he said, you know, I'll, you know, I'll have you arrested for hit and run if you, you know, don't cooperate in this investigation. I said, well, listen, let me three way in, you know, my attorney. And that way, you know, we, we could we could discuss it. At that point, he said, oh, you, you're uncooperative, hung up the phone. A few days later, Deputy Senato secured this arrest warrant. Again, here's the video Plaquemines Parish is using to prove its case. They say this is Jared Folks and proves Jared Folks drove his work truck adding the incident was captured in high quality video surveillance. He even wrote folks told him he was in a hurry to get home to watch the Super Bowl. Problem is, folks said he never told the deputy that. Instead, folks said he wasn't the driver and he was actually in Kenner watching the Super Bowl at the time of the incident. Here's video of folks in his office in Kenner. There's the timestamp. You can even see the Super Bowl playing in the right corner. Zoom in at 638, one minute after the incident, you can see folks watching Matthew Stafford throw a touchdown to Cooper Cup. The deputy certified under oath these facts are false and instead swore this person is Jared Folks. Is it clear to you that that's not your client? W without a doubt, it's a, um, it's a brown skinned gentleman. I mean, it's, you know, darker skin. It's hard to tell from their video, but my client is almost six feet tall and he's bald. And this gentleman had dark hair, dark complected, and, you know, had a beard and a mustache. And again, they were both dark black. Yet the deputy swore your client was on the scene. Yes, sir. Well, let me back this up. He had to because the crime of hit and run driving necessitates that somebody, you know who ran, who committed that crime, yeah. that, the, that you know the driver of the vehicle that committed that crime. The investigating deputy, Vincenzo Senato, has a history of misconduct on the job. In 2020 and 2021, he served five separate suspensions, totaling seven days for violations on the job. In one case, he got into an argument with a supervisor, and another drove 80 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone during inclement weather, 
with a suspect in the back seat. And one, Sonato backed into a vehicle, then left without telling the owner or reporting the incident. Sonato's also lost his take-home car privileges multiple times, including once when he ran a red light, driving over 100 miles per hour without lights or sirens on the way to a call. Since 2020, he's had another eight separate complaints that were unfounded or where he was exonerated, including three this year. Plaquemines Parish Sheriff Jerry Turlich owned a house in the subdivision where the incident took place. He sold it less than a month before the arrest. The Plaquemines Parish Sheriff declined to comment, citing a pending case, but in response to the prior sanctions against Deputy Senato, a spokesperson wrote they do not have any bearings in this investigation and do not put any questions into his competency or credibility as a deputy with PPSO. His sanctions were based on performance issues that that were not related to his investigative abilities or competency. How has this not been thrown out yet? I, I don't know. I don't control the DA's office in Plaquemines Parish. And according to them, they screen the cases and they evaluate them based on the screening and make a decision. Folks lives in Kenner. In February of 2022, Plaquemines asked Kenner police to arrest him. The charges, both misdemeanors, hit and run, and for not having insurance, even though Folks claims he has it. Kenner police place Folks in this holding cell over President's Day weekend until Plaquemines Parish picked him up and he was able to bond out. That's the old two-party, two-step, oldest trick in the book. That makes you sit for the whole weekend and you really can't get out because you can't. You have to have two different jurisdictions, quote, bond you out or release you. And so what they did was kind of dirty to this guy to make him sit for two or three days in jail. This is on purpose to arrest him that day to make him sit through the weekend. It, I mean, I've been seeing it for 30 years. Fox 8 legal analyst Joe Respani says the video evidence shows the deputy gave a false statement in the affidavit. Well, you're not supposed to uh, swear out an affidavit that you know not to be true. So if he's swearing out a false uh, affidavit for a uh, for a arrest warrant, that's not kosher. I don't get why they would uh, almost purposefully inculpate themselves into a bad allegation like that. It, if it clearly shows that he wasn't there. We emailed the DA's office for comment. At the time, they couldn't because of a pending case. But three weeks after we started asking questions, the DA's office dropped the charges. That same day, though, folks was served with papers, a civil lawsuit brought by the subdivision. So I walked into the courtroom, um, was hoping to get the case dismissed. Uh, the case was dismissed. And I had a officer waiting there uh, to serve me additional papers for uh, damages. I definitely thought it was going to be behind me. The civil suit cites many of the false findings in the arrest warrant. Fox 8 legal analyst Joe Respani says the investigating officer Sonato should face his own investigation and possibly sanctions based on those false findings. Folks filed a federal lawsuit against the Plaquemines Parish Sheriff and Deputy Sonato for false arrest and imprisonment, saying the facts in this case show the Plaquemines Parish Sheriff had a reckless disregard for the truth. You know, it's a major disruption to, you know, my business, my daily life, and just also hanging over my head. Because any, at any point, they have the footage to show that it wasn't me. We reached out to the attorney for the Parks of Plaquemine Subdivision Homeowners Association. In a statement, Jacob Bro said our firm has had and has no involvement in the criminal matter and is unable to comment on such. As to the civil lawsuit, it was filed to preserve the property damage claim of the Park Homeowners Association for the cost of repair of its gate. To date, we have been provided nothing from Airtight Construction LLC or Mr. Folks. The spokesperson for the Plaquemines Parish Sheriff's Office sent another response late this evening regarding Folks' arrest that says in part his refusal to cooperate in the investigation hindered his ability and responsibility as a business owner to mitigate the situation. Although the hit and run charges was dropped against Mr. Folks, this does not necessarily absolve his criminal involvement and culpability in this incident because it is a fact that it was Mr. Folks' company vehicle that is still an ongoing investigation. In tonight's statement that the Sheriff's Office never addressed why they arrested and charged Folks even though video evidence shows he wasn't at the scene of the alleged crime.